Coach, as you begin to kind of search for solutions to get this thing back uh, to where you want it to be, is a guy like Jaden, is there a possibility of him returning to, to defensive back, something he played in high school, or has he outgrown that position, or do you like what he's been doing? Um, he's doing a good job at the position that he's at right now. Um, you know, we're looking at everything and all possibilities, but he's doing a good job. He's doing a good job where he is right now. And he's locked in. You don't want to mess with a kid too much, that's especially him, because he goes all in. Once he picks up something, he's got it. So uh, just want to still be comfortable because he's playing well. Last week you said you had to dial it back on Monday. You said you got to give guys more. How do you find that balance with you know, not giving him too much but giving him too much? Exactly. It, it, is a, it is a delicate balance that you have to – try to figure out uh, and you find that out throughout the course of the week of practice well you know how, how much stuff you're calling throughout the course of the week how many times are they actually doing it correct or not doing it correct not doing it well and hey they're just not getting this so based on how much you throw at them early on and how they retain it and being able to execute it is, is a big key in what you put take in and, and, and put in and take out coach there's been a lot of Couch coaching going on from the fans. You know, people saying FSU should do this on defense, FSU should do that. I guess. How tough is it to make those in season and in game adjustments? Uh, they're not that tough. I mean, it's what we do every every week. You know, you're studying the film. Um, you're trying to figure out what best fits what we do to stop what they're trying to do against us, and then let the guys play. We have some talented football players here, so you don't want to over scheme them. You know what I mean? Let the guys go out and play, uh, execute, and when you do that, you give yourself a chance to win. What are the go ahead? What are the challenges of facing a guy like Bryce Perkins who can get it done with his arm, get it done with his legs at a very high level? That's a big time challenge. You know, he's a good football player. Um, like you said, arm and legs, he can get it done. Uh, he's experienced. He understands their offense, where to go with the ball, and all those type of things. So it'll be a big challenge at Virginia Forbes. Coach, you were more multiple uh, last week. Did you see anything in the four four man front you liked better than you saw in the three man front? Uh, Week before. Right. It, it was just a, uh, what they gave us and what they showed us, um, and we, what we tried, how we tried to attack it. You know what I mean? Um, uh, we, we, we're trying to get to the point where we can. The kids are like, bam, we're gonna, we gonna notice. They're gonna anticipate what I'm going, going to call uh, because of what I'm calling throughout the course of the weekend practice. And when you do that, you have an anticipation of what's going to happen offensively against that, and uh, and be able to execute. How do you manage uh, the guys when they're not having success they hope to have? Do you talk to guys individually, or how do you how do you manage that? Yes, you do talk to guys as as a group individually. You come in, talk to them, see where they're thinking, what you know, what they like, don't like. You know, you you, you got to get some input from the players as well, because they're the ones actually playing the football field. And then when you have a, you know, obviously Dontavius looks like he had a moment of frustration on the field, like flag for foul. Um, what, what? How do you? How is that corrected? Or what? What kind of things can you do? To well, you, you, like you said, you talk to them individually. You let them know that that's not acceptable. And, uh, and you know, uh, y your job is not just your job cemented in, in stone just because you're out there for us. I mean, we, we got enough guys here competition-wise that uh, you keep doing, you know, things that, that are detrimental to the team that you'll be on the sideline and somebody else will be in the game. With that in mind, Coach, I have a lot of people or message boarders are asking they want to see freshman linebackers. Is that something that you guys will consider rotating some of those young guys in a little bit more this week? Well, not only freshmen, just guys that are competing out there. You don't just do it just to do it. You do it for guys that have earned it. And uh, those guys are really coming along. Uh, again, not only the freshmen, but some of the other guys are, are playing well, doing well in practice, and uh, they'll, they'll get their chance because they're earning it, not just because we're going to give it to them. Uh, coming into the season, everyone kind of seemed like – at least felt like they understood their roles and understood what was going on. Um, have they kind of expressed, you know, something's not clicking or what's not working to you? Uh, no, not that way. They, they, they all have bought in. They're still trying to um, just perfect what they do, to be honest with you. And uh, week, week to week, you got a different offense. You got different things that's, that's, that's presented. And so they're just trying to all figure it out and get it done. They will, and, and we will. Through the years, I'm sure you've had situations where your defenses maybe didn't get off to the start they wanted, but then turn it around. What what was the key in those situations, and, and what can you call upon? Still keep believing in what we're in the process and, and what we do, and uh, and continue to work on the fundamental fundamentals and the techniques of your position. When you do that and you just keep getting better at those things, then the execution happens for all 11 players. And when that happens, you give you give yourself the chance to win that particular down and the series and the game. Do you? The 
week before against Boise, um, you know, it was gap soundness and, you know, alignment issues. Did you see any improvement in that regard? There was some improvement in that regard. Um, now we got to go in there and make tackles when we've got the gap sounds, gaps covered and all that. Make a play. You know, got to go make plays and, and, and get it done. But it was improvement. Do you intend to remain in the box? And how was that different working from up there compared to being on the field prior to? Yes, right now I will uh, stay up in the box. That's where I've been comfortable. That's where I've been my whole career. Um, and I can see more up that way. Uh, up there, and uh, yes, I will continue to stay up there. Coach, you guys have defended the most plays in the country. You know, Virginia's a team that likes to control the ball, and they, they lead it most of the country in the time of possession. I guess, how do you guys get off the field this week? We got to execute. Like I said, all 11 execute. We give ourselves a chance to win each and every play, and then each and every series, and then as you go throughout the game. So all 11 players must execute the defense, get it done, and get off the field. Are these sort of like the natural growing pains that you guys are kind of enduring from having to install something as kind of new and fresh as, as odd man fronts into what you guys I would think so, yes. You know, um, uh, our, but the credit to our guys, they're, they're trying to work through the process. They're trying to get better because uh, everybody here wants to win. You know, if, if nothing else, every player you see come through, every coach, every support staff person, everybody wants to win. That's the one common goal for sure. And uh, so everybody's working towards that. Is there any sort of concept you lean on when, when it does come to odd man front end, like like a Nick LeBeau system or Wade Phillips or one of those guys, something you try to, to kind of emulate to some extent? I got you. There, there's some um, things that we're still looking at and talking talking about uh, and talking to different people about how they how they uh, operate out of the uh, three four front, and uh, so we're getting better at it. Again, try not to do too much of it to the point where you can't get good at something. You know what I mean? So. Uh, we, we have been uh, consulting with some other people. Is Perkins a guy that improvises a lot, or is it mostly within the system? Is it's their a, quarterback, Virginia's quarterback. Oh, okay. The, it, does he improvise a lot, or is it more just what they do to their system? Um, what they do, and he, and he has some improvisa improvisation in him. I'm not saying that right. Yeah. Okay. Um, but he, he, he does improvise um, at times, obviously, and that's, that's, that's what makes him good. You know, when things break down, he can make things happen with, with his legs and his arm. So uh, that's a tough, tough, tough player to deal with. Uh, last week with becoming more mobile and you know kind of coming back to what you guys used to do while still trying to add that in, did you see them kind of accept that better, or was there a little confusion? Oh uh, no, I, I saw the guys just trying to go out there and execute and do their jobs, and uh, and and that's what we'll continue to try to do. When when you guys do different fronts from game to game, how how much different are the responsibilities for like the linebackers or the defensive front, I guess, from three you know, out front even, how much does that change? I guess? You're right. I mean, there, there are different responsibilities and different ways to hit gaps, different reads and things like that. So that's why you try not to make it too confusing for the guys so they can go out there and just play ball. We got some talented football players here, and we want to see them go out there and let their ability shine. The spot that Janaris and Josh kind of rotate between, what do you need to see from that position? Maybe not them specifically, but, but how important is that position to, to produce to, to help everything else? Uh, you, <clears throat> what you like to see from that position, like you see from – pretty much all positions is go out and, and get the job done at the position. But them particular, that when they do come off the edge, causing, causing uh, issues off the edge, be it in the run game or in the pass game, and if they ever have to drop or anything like that, uh, getting in the passing windows, maybe getting their hands on some balls, maybe even a couple interceptions wouldn't hurt either. With those struggles, do you think the players are still confident that they can get the job done? I do. I do. We're start, about to start the ACC conference um, where – 0-0 in conference play right now, and our guys are excited about it. Every defense wants to create turnovers, but just with the way things have been going, is it is it kind of an easy fix to, to really emphasize turnovers because that's the, the easiest way to, to help this defense get better? Uh, that, that's one of the ways to help it, obviously, and then getting off the field on third down and, and just playing bell, tackling better, all of that stuff works together uh, defensively, so it all works together. Thanks for all right, thanks, guys.